Papillion leaf fever syndrome. So what is Papillion leaf fever syndrome? So Papillion leaf fever syndrome it is a autosomal recessive and inherited disorder syndrome. Definitely it have three conditions. One is calcification of dura. The second one is hyperkeratosis of palms of hand and soles of foot. And third one is extensive prepubertal destruction of bone supporting the dentition. So there is a calcification of dura and hyperkeratosis of palms of hand and soles of foot and extensive prepubertal destruction of the bone supporting the dentition. What are the clinical features? Oral manifestations. So there is gingival swelling and severe halitosis is present and horizontal bone destruction and pedial pocket is seen and loss of primary dentition by the age of 5 years and loss of secondary dentition that is permanent dentition by the age of 20 years. So patient lost the primary dentition at the age of 5 years and lost the permanent dentition at the age of 20 years. So this picture showing the uh, clinical appearance of the deciduous teeth. There is exfoliated primary teeth with gingivitis and there is plaque accumulation is is seen. So these are the manifest clinical oral manifestations and uh, this OPG shows there is a bone loss and migrated teeth with bone loss is seen. These are the clinical features of Papillion leaf fever syndrome. What are the skin manifestations? There is dirty colored skin and reddened scaly rough palms and soles. These are the skin manifestations. Dirty colored skin and reddened scaly rough palms and soles. So the, this picture showing there is a hyperkeratotic lesions on the palms and the dorsal surface of the hand. So hyperkeratotic lesions of the palm of the hand and dorsal surface also that is hyperkeratotic. So this picture showing the hyperkeratotic lesions on the soles. So these are the skin manifestations of Papillion leaf fever syndrome. What are the investigations? So the investigations that may be required for diagnosis are hematological hormone assay, height and weight calculation, urine analysis and alkaline phosphatase. These are the uh, laboratory test. We have to take these tests to diagnose Papillion leaf fever syndrome. So what are the radiological investigations such as orthopantomography that is OPG and intraoral periapical radiograph and lateral lateral self. So and others are neutrophil function test and conventional polymerase chain reaction for microbiological analysis. These are the investigations we have to take for diagnose the Papillion leaf fever syndrome. The treatment is exactly there is no treatment. But it is a, there is a combination of a psychologist and a dermatologist and dental surgeon need for this patient for treatment. What are the dental management? First one is intense periodontal therapy includes oral heavy how to give oral hygiene instructions and chlorhexidine rinses and scaling and prescription of antimicrobials to control acute phases and uh, severely involved teeth must be extracted and the loss of the teeth is almost inevitable even with a high degree of patient complaints and a more realistic aim is to maintain the alveolar bone height to eventually support removal or implant retained prosthesis so we have to maintain the alveolar bone height